Allow me to commence my tale today with a stroke of chance, a fortuitous encounter with a scavenging vagabond who serendipitously crossed paths with me on the anniversary of my birth. Eager to test the boundaries of perception, I posed a query, beseeching the weathered scavenger to fathom my age. Deep within, I clung to the belief of eternal youth, exuding vitality in both countenance and spirit. Alas, the scavenger's estimate loomed as a staggering eighty, a number that threatened to shatter my cherished illusion. Memories surged forth, recalling another incident in Singapore years past. A stranger, acknowledging my apparent fragility, graciously offered me respite upon a bus. Oh, how the tides had turned. While I contemplate the enigma of age, solace manifests in the wisdom bestowed by Prophet Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, who proclaim that with each passing year, we metamorphose into the individuals destined to emerge. Within this enlightenment, a profound question materializes. Would I relinquish my hard-earned sagacity for the rejuvenation of youth? A resounding and vehement no reverberates through my being. The expedition of life, with its crests and troughs, has molded me into the person I was fated to become. Love and fear, long-standing companions in the tapestry of existence, have long been venerated as the impelling forces of life. However, in a revelation newfound, pain emerges as an equally potent catalyst for transformation. I reflect upon a lifetime of anguish, an unwavering companion that has propelled me onward. It is pain that has ignited my yearning for metamorphosis, jolting me from the depths of complacency. Astonishingly, there were moments when the wrongness of my deeds eluded my awareness, veiling my sight to the consequences of self-destructive behavior. Unbeknownst to me, I was in a ceaseless sprint, a flight from my very essence. Seeking solace in the embrace of love and trust, I limit their scarcity during my formative years. These virtues, akin to elusive phantoms, evaded my grasp, leaving behind a chasm aching to be filled. To numb the pain and fill the void, I sought solace in the clutches of alcohol addiction, a misguided attempt to divert my attention from the tempest within. Moreover, a close branded me as flawed, amplifying the chorus of self-doubt and guilt. The echoes of what is all right with me resounded within my soul, an incessant refrain that tainted my perception of self-worth. In my pursuit to navigate the labyrinthine paths of life, I elected the most arduous route, believing it would fortify me for the trials ahead. Little did I comprehend that life's obstacles resembled gentle speed bumps, imploring me to decelerate and glean invaluable lessons en route. A newfound epiphany unfurls within me, to pause amidst the chaos. When thoughts raced, hearts pounded, and minds whirled with troubles, I would cease. I would interrogate the relevance of my concerns to my happiness, well-being, and inner tranquility. More often than not, the answer resounded with a resolute no. In these moments of mindfulness, I unearthed a profound serenity, a taste of peace hitherto unknown. As my personal evolution unfolded, I invoked the sagacity of Muhammad Ali, who dismissed the import of New Year's resolutions. In my eyes, each passing day presented an opportunity for introspection, a chance to observe the intricacies of my being. I embarked upon a pilgrimage of humility, a virtue that eluded me until a mere six months prior. I cast aside the veils of pretense, the embellishments I had adorned without merit. With newfound humility, I yearned to fill the void at my core, the foundation that had long been absent. To those familiar with the tempestuous trajectory of my life, it might assume the guise of a chronicle steeped in hardship. Yet I view it through a contrasting prism, a tale of emancipating liberation, standing atop the majestic hills of Negrak. Sukabumi, I extend gratitude to Allah, murmuring the words Alhamdulillah three times. These words, pregnant with gratitude, bespeak my reverence for Allah, encompassing the wondrous marvels of nature. How could gratitude elude me when beauty and agony intertwine with such seamless artistry? Within this tapestry of existence, gratitude kindles a beacon to guide my way. Now I wholeheartedly embrace the intricate waltz of pain and beauty, 
Acknowledging their inherent interdependence, I strive to navigate the labyrinth of life with humility and mindfulness, pausing to savor the magnificence interwoven amidst the turmoil.